What is going on, you guys? Welcome back to another video. Wow, you fit through there. That's cool. Yeah. Yep. You're good. You're perfect. going to be changing the ignition coils and the spark plugs. All right. So taking the ignition coils is pretty straightforward. You just pull this. The second one has a lot of wear and tear to this. That doesn't look good. It's too old probably. Who knows? It's too hot. All right, so just to make this easier for you, get a T27 and take this cover off. Thing. There you go. See? Four T27 bolts, take this off, get it out the way so you have more room to play with, and spray bolts. Okay, so we need two extensions for this. So when you take out your plugs or your ignition coils, just make sure that there is no oil because if there is an oil leak, well, that's your valve that's leaking. So after you loosen them up, make sure that you have a socket tool which didn't come in the tool set that I got. So if you have a magnet, just pull it out and they look fairly good, kind of. They don't look too bad, but if you've seen my last video, you've seen that the car was kind of miswiring bad. Um, so I'd still rather be on the safe end and change out the ignition coils and the spark plugs. So you just wanna make sure that they're all loosened up. And so you can just go put the magnet right in. And they should be able to come right out. This one doesn't look too bad either. They all have wear and tear damage, nothing serious, no weight, which is good. So I just went ahead and got the NGK Viridiums. They're the best bang for your buck, nine piece, not bad for them. Nice and cold, so your car should be performing at its best peak. Perfect. So this one's the new one, you can see it. Left one is the old one. Little side by side. And hand tighten it a little bit. Hand tighten it real quick. These are already pre gapped. Honestly, I don't try to play around with too much with it just because it can cause those fires and stuff like that. So I just take it right out the box and put it right in, maybe down the line if I ever, um, I will be doing a tune, so these would have to be gapped, but until then, I'll probably just get new ones after I get the tune, just so it's at its peak point. You don't want to go ahead and tighten it too much, so right where you feel like it's getting tight, give it a little more tightens and then it should be good. Same thing with this end. Same thing with this one. 
the same as the others. One, two, three. Perfect. There's a guy called it Cables. But to me, they're just finishing coils. I don't care. I'm not going to go ahead and give them another name. Um, I just went ahead and got one with the Doralast ones. Um, nothing performance crazy. This, they did have wear and tears, a couple of ribs. The second one was the worst one out of all. Do it. Just look at it. The third one. I'll just put this one right in here. My check engine light is currently flashing. I didn't have one before. The cars I don't work. I had what I did wrong was I mixed these two two up, and they're supposed to be in a perfect order. So it's one, two, three, four, basically. And I ended up mixing them up, and now the engine's running perfectly fine. Check engine light is still on, so I'm probably just going to have to delete it. Don't hit me. Like this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe.